Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to The Sonia Show. On today's show, we'll take a look at our nation's booming oil industry. With the help of our Minister of Oil, we recorded the following. Just a moment. I have some very important news to share. <gasps> You're kidding me. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go live to our reporter at the wall. Beatrice, can you hear me? Yes, Sonia. I'm here at the wall where an attack has just happened. With me is Darren, who witnessed the event. I'm on? Yeah, so I was sleeping in my tent when I heard a bang, like a big explosion, you know. When I got out, I saw a huge fire at the wall. Do you know what caused the explosion? I, I think a truck smashed into it. That's right, Sonia. A brigade truck crashed into the wall, killing a teenager on the spot. Nah, you got it wrong. The truck didn't kill the teen. Border forces did. They're shooting kids all the time. Hey, don't grab my mic. Uh-oh. Looks like we're having some technical difficulties. Wish I could say I'm surprised the brigades are behind this, but I can't. Thank you for your report, Beatrice. Have no fear. The authorities will ensure nothing like this occurs on Election Day. Remember, I'll be there, live. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. As we approach Election Day, more and more protests are occurring in our fine country. Vote Tyrak and put the brigades in jail. As you know, the Sonia Show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia Hotline. We count on your support. And that has been The Sonia Show. Talkative type, are you, young blood? What'd you say? Ha! <laughs> Just kidding. Feel free to start a conversation, okay? I did. Makes me sick them saying the brigades did it. And what about you? What do you think? I wish I could 100% agree, but I've seen many politicians come and go. Hey, I'd get your hand out of there if I were you. Bear, got your ears on? Over. Ooh, that's Mama Bear, young blood. We got a CB type thing going on. I've never actually met her, but I think I'm in love. We got CB nicknames for one another. I'm her papa, she's my mama. I want to ask her out, but I've been out of the game too long. Can you help? 
Come on! I'm desperate, kid. All right. I'm going in. Hi, beautiful. How's my CB crush doing today? Beautiful? <laughs> well, if you say so. I'm all right. Oh, but my boss is writing me about this illegal transmitter. Yes, she is, young blood. Never thought I'd love a cop before. Honestly, I'm starting to think a ghost is moving in. Speaking of transporting, what are you hauling today, Papa? Something just as intriguing. Pineapples. <laughs> young blood, it's going well. I'm gonna ask her out. Any advice? Mama Bear? Aren't you getting tired of talking like this? Oh, you... You don't want to talk anymore, Papa? No, no. What I mean is, we, we should meet in person. Look, we got a nice CB thing going on. But I got to meet you, Mama. Oh, uh, I don't know, Papa Bear. You never showed the last time, remember? I, I was nervous. I promise that will never happen again. Yep, I screwed the pooch, young blood. I don't know, Papa Bear. That really hurt. I'm begging you, Mama Bear. Give me one more chance. Fine. But this is your last chance, okay? Name the time and place. Woohoo! Yeah! Ah, road pilots, young blood. Get in the back. You know how to handle a nail gun? These low life think they're gonna get my pineapples. Ha! Can't legally carry a gun, so you'll have to shoot them with nails. Oh, that? That's, uh, nothing. The nail gun! Find my nail gun! Shoot the lock to open the doors! Take him down, young blood! Alright, sting! You'll live! You think of a time and place? Young Blood! Think Mama Bear likes seafood? Papa Bear? I'm here, darling. You like gumbo? Damn! They're back! Show them no mercy! What road are you on, Papa Bear? We got a call. There's a shootout on Route 220. Oh, really? Get him off, Buck Easter, young blood! Young blood, these banditos are almost finished. Oh yeah! Way to go, young.
own blood? You're a cold-blooded sniper! Papa Bear, I gotta run. Looking forward to our date. Me too, Mama! Hey, that's our little secret, all right? Young blood, I'm gonna have to drop you soon, but it's been a blast. Anytime, young blood. Anytime. I hope you reach your destination. I've tried everything. Guess I'm just a normal genius, not a genius genius. Yo, depressing. Okay, let's start from the beginning. You've got this. Get it. I've tried everything. Guess I'm just a normal genius, not a genius genius. Yo, depressing. Okay, let's start from the beginning. You've got this. I've tried everything. guy I know, Robert, asked me if I could do it. Just a prototype. But now I want to deprogram it. But I'm having some trouble. I know. Mr. Ursus thinks so too. I'll stick to video games in the future. I got 
eyes and ears and an IQ of 180. Yo, what happened is awful. You really think the brigades did this? Yeah, the homegirl knows what's up, I think. At least on certain issues. Wait, I got an idea. You can be my rubber duck. A rubber duck is someone who listens to someone else describe a problem. If all goes well, the solution presents itself to the person talking. Cool, cool. So first I check the resistance with my voltmeter, and everything seems okay. Then I clean the captors, checking them too. A bit painstaking, but whatever. I removed every screw, nut, and bolt, and the motherboard. I put them back again, but it still didn't work. Nick, you're a genius! <laughs> to turn on the electricity, we need to find the generator. Could be anywhere at this station. Grab this nail gun. I got another idea. the cable in the ceiling? Shoot the tiles to see where it goes. That's how we'll find the generator. Follow the cable, my sister from another mister. on the ground. Let's follow it. Lead the way. Tell me when you find where it goes. I'm coming. Put a cap in that lock, yo. Hell yeah. The generator's in here, yo. We just gotta start it now. The key should be around here somewhere. Can you get it? Ghosts 
slow, homegirl. Real slow. are on, but the station sure is in bad shape. You know, that's why we need Tarak for another ten years, and not that Flores. To make sure this kind of thing doesn't happen elsewhere. Hey, wanna scare these Tyrak supporters a little? The cable goes under their car. I can make it active. And their car, too. Yeah, this place looks closed. Foreigners and teens. They're ruining Petria. <laughs> <laughs> Quit fooling around, Jim. I just got electrocuted touching the car. This is one of your jokes, isn't it? No. See for yourself. Why would I try to electrocute myself? Fine. I don't feel nothing. Gotta to touch the car. <laughs> ah, see, I told you. I didn't believe you. I know. Hey, look over there. Whoops. Time to run, homegirl.
Well, maybe we don't have to wear the outfits all the time. Crazy talk, Mitch. Now, shh. It's almost time for the Sonia show. I wonder what she's going to wear today. <laughs> Me too. That pink number, maybe. You hear that? <laughs> Ugh. That's not the creep after Sonia, is it? Nope. Kid ain't nothing but a hitchhiker. Tie her up. Told you she wasn't dead. You were right. Guess I owe you five big ones. I don't have it on me right now. But I will as soon as we rob the kid. This is Stan and I's hideout. Pretty nice, don't you think? Shut up, Mitch! Give us all your money, kid! Now! Yeah, yeah all your money. In case you didn't notice, we're the ones giving the orders. Maybe I'll have to show her the beast. Whoa, you hear that? The beast. Now search her, Mitch. Well, looky here. How much we talking about? Not enough to quit the game, Stan. No amount could ever make us quit the game, Mitch. <sighs> It'd be nice to rob someone actually rich once. Sure would, Stan. Mitch, this kid is starting to hurt my ears. Show her the beast. With pleasure. <laughs> now come on, we got work to do on our investigation. Sweet Sonia's life hangs in a balance. I feel like I'm going crazy, Mitch. Yeah, me too. And if we don't crack this soon, it'll be too late. Quiet, little lady. Do I have to show you the beast again? Yeah, shut your trap. Let the grown-ups think in peace. Kid, someone wants to end Sonia's life. The famous reporter? Yeah, we doubt that you could help us. <laughs> ah, hell, Mitch. Maybe I'm crazy, but maybe she can help. Yeah, I mean, what do we have to lose here? Pick her up. We'll make you a deal, kid. Help us, and you'll get your money back. So we're trying to find out when the killer's gonna attack. We got some of his letters and things right here. When he's gonna attack is somewhere in them. We just know it is. Yeah. 
He says he's going to act on his kid's birthday. He had this letter in his journal. I guess his daughter was fond of reptilians. That guy's seriously disturbed, Stan. If anything happens to sweet Sonia, I might just go crazy! So, uh, we know the girl's birthday. Uh, you're asking us for help? I thought you were the whiz. Stan? Yeah, sometime in 1994. Today marks the anniversary of Lola's death. In exactly two years, I will take my revenge. Do we know when that was recorded, Stan? Yeah, sometime in 1994. Thank you. 
Today marks the anniversary of Lola's death. In exactly two years, I will take my revenge. Do we know when that was recorded, Stan? Yeah, sometime in 1994. earlier. I don't know what I was thinking. We still need to figure out what this guy looks like. And where the attack is gonna happen. But, uh, you know, now we're making progress. Yeah, we are. Here's your cash, kid. It's best to honor one's promises. Stan and Mitch rules. Near a TV. Just climb it. Now get. But, uh, before you go, maybe you want to ask us something? I did. Awful is what it is. We would have saved a kid had we been there. Yeah, we would have. How does it make you feel, kid? Yeah, could be a good time for a change. It's true. to my luxurious limo.
you're wondering why I've given you a ride. I gave you a ride because I know your secret. That you're my biggest fan. I don't deny it, honey buns. Don't pretend, sugar. Now relax. You must be exhausted from being on the road. There's a normal sized remote to your left. See it? Everything you ever wanted can be accessed by pressing one of its normal sized buttons. Go on. what rich people call a sunroom. Now go on, climb up there. to touch them much myself. What's it say? Oh, I see. Put on the pile labeled death rinse. Oh gosh, almost every day. That's why I got Adam my bodyguard and driver. As irritating as he is. Do you want me to turn the audio off, Sonya? Uh, yeah! It's a question I ask myself all the time. Believe me. But whoever it is, they won't do nothing. I've been getting letters for ten years, Snookums. Yet here I still am. Sonya? What is it, Adam? Kinda having a moment here with my biggest fan. It's time. For the Sonya show, of course. I never miss it. Now park those buns over here. We say it's live, but <laughs> that'd be way too hard. Protests are... On the upswing. Asked about it, President Tyrak stated that he believes Flores herself to be a member of the Black Brigades. And now for today's missing teen report. Unfortunately, we have additional teens and blah 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 blah. You can ask me anything you want. You know that, right? I'm here for you. Yeah, I know the brigades are behind it somehow. Police, she will do no such thing. Wait, you feel that? We're slowing down. Ring Adam for me, would you? Yes, Sonya? It wasn't me who rang, Adam. So stupid. It was my biggest fan. Yes, Sonya's biggest fan? We're pulling into a security checkpoint. Looks like there's another protest. And to think this was once a nice totalitarian nation. the election? Or Tyrak increasingly taking away their civil liberties? Ugh, babies. 
is sacked. much. Thanks, honey bunny. Here come the police. This party is about to blow up. Hey, get out of my way. Yeah, you, loser, get out of my way. Hey, get out of here, loser. Sonia, please get back in the limo. you out of my limo. I thought you were my biggest fan. Adam! Drop this loser off. Yes, Sonya. So long, kid.
In just a few days, the nation will honor the victims of 86 and elect its new president. When historians look back on this September 9th, many will consider it the most important day ever in the history of Petria. It's perfect. The entire country will be watching. I agree. The time to act is now. Intelligence says the brigades will try something, Mr. President. If they do, I'll crush them once and for all. Of course, I'll be here all day, reporting live at the scene. This has been Sonia Sanchez for GNN. And cut! You do her hair, is that it? I don't do her hair. Don't be offended. We think her hair is great. Look, Sonia's not seeing anyone right now, all right? Hi, kid. This guy won't let us see Sonia. He thinks we're fans. Aren't we, Stan? We're... we're more than that. We're her biggest fans. Nice one, Stan. Well, uh, who asked you? Come on, Mitch. We made the hairstylist upset. We'll talk to Sonia later. Oh, are you crying, Sonia? A girl. Dad here. In 86. Might as well do it now. This is for you, Lola. Lolo was her name. I, I... I tried. I tried to save her. But... but the rocks... They... they kept coming. It's just... Sometimes... I wish I had died. And she lived. Oh, Sonia. Mitch, behind the rocks. You see what I'm seeing? Uh-huh. Come on! Stop right there! You again? Wait, where's the other one? Mitch, the beast! <laughs> what the? Woohoo! We got him, Mitch! We got the would-be killer! Woohoo! these two s &M guys? No, them. They're the big brothers. Hi, Sonia. Oh, hi, Sonia. You two come here and give me a hug. No! <laughs> right away, yeah. ma'am. On our way. It's so good to see you two. It's been too long. I don't want to rain on your family reunion, but he's gone. Not a problem. We'll be here on election day, if he comes back. Yeah, we'll be here. Stan! Aw, oh, Mitch. Oh, I'm sorry I've been so distant. I hope you can forgive me. Don't worry about it, Sonia. Yeah, don't worry. We're, we're a family. Aw, oh, you guys are the best. Now give me another hug. That leaves just the brigades. Time to cut the head off the snake. Snakes and drinks? Can I help you at all? I don't know, kid, but I think it's gonna be big. Just hope the good guys come out on top. But I know history isn't necessarily on our side. Kid, you've got to be smarter than that. Security is all over the place. They'll send you to... you know where. And my wife and I... we'll end up in prison. Can we trust you? Okay. 
If you have the right papers, you can enlist down there. Just follow the trucks to the gate. I hope you find your freedom, kid. We'll be rooting for you. Here for the offshore worker exam? Are you registered? I see. Mm, sorry, but we're at max capacity already. Oh yeah, we can find you a seat. Only the most honest citizens will pass. Your number will be displayed behind me. When it appears, it's your turn. Your test results will also be displayed there. So pay attention! There are certain requirements you need to know. Only married persons with at least one child can rightfully apply. Your contract, if you pass, will last for five years. No more, no less. Lastly, the majority of your pay will be sent back to your homeland. Your number will soon be displayed. Bless our beautiful nation! begin. Question one. What is your candidate number? Question two. How old is your eldest child? Question three. If you pass, how long will your stay abroad be? I see. Question four. What age would your eldest child be when you return from abroad? Hmm? Question five. Are you, or have you ever been, a Black Brigade? Question six. Have you ever listened to illegal radio stations? Be honest. Question seven. When did the Black Brigade terrorist attack occur? Question 9. Who is our great president? Question 11. Which of the following do you enjoy the most? You have answered all the questions. Petria is a democratic country, so you have the opportunity to ask at this time a question of your own. It's good not to ask questions. You can now wait for your test results in the waiting room. Hopefully you'll not be arrested. Good day. You look young, 
going to take this test. That wasn't really a compliment. Represent our blessed nation. Freedom. Nothing is more important, but there are many others in Petra still looking for it. And their journeys have only just begun. Hello, Sonia Sanchez here. Welcome to The Sonia Show. As many of you know, the Brigades have a secret mobile radio station which they use to spread their fake news. Well, for years, the person transporting the station has evaded capture. But viewers, I've learned the authorities are closing in and now believe the station is being moved by a truck driver. We remind you there's a $2,000 reward for any valuable information. Come on, people. Let's bring this criminal to justice. The gate to the border was open today. Goes to show you how great our nation is because we had, as always, few requests to work offshore. Now let's take a moment to look at the latest candidate polls. Looks like Tyrak is still the preferred candidate. As we approach election day, more and more protests are occurring in our fine country. Vote Tyrak and put the brigades in jail. As you know, the Sonia show is very concerned about our youth who continue to mysteriously disappear. Let's view today's missing teen report. Remember, if you have any information, please call the Sonia hotline. We count on your support. And that has been the Sonya Show.
Wow, you look rough. Yeah, I'll take your word for it. What is it? Looks like you got something on your mind. I know. I'm rooting for Flores, of course. Even made a donation of $10 to her campaign. A lot of scratch for me. Same to you, man. Say, you look familiar. You're one of those teens on the posters. Yeah, I'd recognize that silhouette anywhere. Better call the cops. Make sure you're not missing. I am. See that pump? Serve gas for me and we won't have any problems. Don't keep them waiting. Remember to smile. <sighs> Come on, kid. Hurry. It's fine. We're really not in a hurry. Ten liters of unleaded. Make it fast. Stakes will be docked from your pay. Oh, it isn't? And now, a sneak peek of today's Sonia show. Asked for his opinion, President Tyrak stated he believes Flores to be a card-carrying brigade. And it would make sense. Wouldn't it? Tune in later to hear more. The Sonya Show. Now that's the real news. Give me fifteen dollars of diesel. Job work? 
working here? I don't want your kind around here. My kind? What do you mean, my kind? I know what you're up to. Trying to leave the country. Border crossers. Tyrak is right to do to you what he does. Oh, look who's pulling <gasps> in. Yeah, you'd better run. Hey. Little young to pump gas, aren't you? Hmm. If you say so, just give me 12 bucks of V-Power. Did I see a kid run off? You did, yeah. How's that for a guilty conscience? Thanks, Peach Fuzz. Now, about that kid. You hear about the hitcher? Nope. Just for the gas. He ran off towards my shed. I know he plans to cross. He said as much. And who are you? Have I seen you someplace? You stay right there, okay? Come on, Reed. Let's have a look. Flip me. I know what you're thinking, Peach Fuzz. You want to help the kid, but that would be a mistake. You understand what I'm telling you? Come out, kid. We know you're in here. There you are. Where do you think you're going? I didn't do anything. Leave me alone. You hear that? Kid's innocent. Uh-huh. Just like all the others. Get him in the van. I'll join you in a sec. Now what about this one? This one's legit. Works here. I don't know. Look how dirty he is. Looks like a crosser to me. What way? Where are you hitching, boy? Not gonna talk, huh? Well, you'll have plenty of time at the station. You're coming with me. I'll take it from here. Yo, what? I'll book him. Besides, it saves you room to pick up another kid. Fine, I guess. Shut up, kid. <laughs> okay, you can go. You didn't break any law? Those guys were just on a power trip. Sorry I yelled at you like that. Had to make it look real. And I'm sorry about the other kid. He seemed nice. Oh, I thought maybe you were traveling together. Seems like you want to ask me something. Make sure you're not at the border that day, okay? I can see the brigades trying something like an 86. All right, kid. Noted. Bye, Peach Fuzz. Take care, okay? She let you go? Just take it easy, okay?
Listeners, a sneak peek of today's Sonia show. Surprisingly, it does appear Flores has some supporters, probably members of the brigade. Tune in later to hear more. you be a doll and give me a ride to a payphone? What's that? You're a little special, aren't you? Oh, that's sweet. Anyway, can you give me a ride? Uh, hello. It's Petria's sweetheart, Sonia Sanchez. You little... Fine. Here. The kid's gonna give me a ride. You think about what you done. Let me drive the limo when I asked. Ha! <laughs> Big mistake. Bad, Adam! Bad! Now, come on. Ain't got all day. I'm goddamn Sonia Sanchez. You actually drive this dump on wheels? I mean... It's nice. Real... lived in. Why would I do that? Uh, did you know there's a, uh, a burger back here? 
I'm gonna put it next to you. Try not to eat my fingers, okay? Ugh, you really just ate that? In front of me? Whatever. Ask me a question, hun. I know you're burning too. Oh, you're shy. I get it. Those brigades are probably up to something. What about you, honey? Planning on being at the border for the big day? Then you're on my big live report. So, honey buns, how much do you love my show? Wait, wait, wait. You're not one of them, are you? A brigade, num nuts. The terrorist group behind the attack in 86? Well, that's a goddamn relief. That's almost as bad. I should get out of this car this very instant. But I won't, because of the state of my limo. I can be nice, you know. Most people don't know that. Well, sparkling as your conversation may be, you're boring me, honey buns. But I have an idea to liven this hearse up. Dance party! Oh, you'll dance when I tell you to dance. Got it? Now find some music on that junk radio of yours. Nope. Uh-uh. you to be honest. Is this even your car? I don't believe you. Relax, sugar. 
I haven't had this much fun in so long. Look at that! Reminds me of... Well, of my past. Saw my brothers recently. It'd been ages. Made me realize how much I missed spending time with them. I'm not gonna make that mistake again. It is sometimes. But I'm not sure that's an excuse. But thanks for saying that. It's sweet. Look! A phone booth! Stop the goddamn car! And it looked like you were just about out of gas. You're a smart teen. You'll find some money somewhere. Well, thanks for the ride. I don't know where you're heading, sweet pea. But good luck getting there. Chucks isn't open right now. Renovation. Music? No, you don't. But you and that skinny guy. Go on. But make it quick. I win! Hand over those bills, Robert. Well, I'm out. Anyone else want a shot at this guy? Aha, uh -huh. not me. Papa Bear's man and air hockey pack for Satan. <laughs> 
Weaklings, all of you. But what about you, kid? We've got ourselves a contender. Faster three points wins. Let's do this. for in his younger years, but came up short of making the national team. Guess it still bothers him. There are a lot of things that bother me, Robert. Oh, you're not. It's just that John's still living in the past. Chuck, serve this boy a martyr. Here we go. You sure about that, Robert? Our friend here is practically an adult, aren't you? Feel it in my bones, kid. Something good, real bad. I wouldn't count on it, young blood. I don't trust the electrical system. Me? No. My name is Robert, kid. Nice to meet you. You know. I do believe there's a reason you're here today. <clears throat> Maybe you should push on, young bud. It's getting late. Oh, young bud. You okay? You look a little funny. Damn, Doc. What did you put in that drink? The mother? Everything. Kid, wake up. Wake up. You're in Chuck's basement, kid. John and myself carried you down here. Come on, I want to show you something. Something big. Welcome to the Brigade's secret hideout. John and I were at the border in 86. The brigades have been around for many years. A girl crossed recently. We think she's the catalyst the revolution needs. The transmitter is one of our biggest achievements. The police are looking for it, but they'll never get their hands on it. 
We have something special planned for Election Day. Wait and see. Yeah, this. What's the kid doing here, Robert? The kid's political. Besides, aren't we on the lookout for fresh blood? See? He's not gonna say a word. Let me start with a big piece of news. Thanks to Zoe, we have intel showing that Tyrak was behind the collapse. Just like we've always suspected. We tried to end his life that day, but he set off the explosives on the peak. Each year, they set it off to prevent avalanches. Must have set off too much in 86. I have some other big news. Recently, a group of us set a trap for the police at the Tyrak billboard. Our mission was a success, and we freed a teen on his way to the pits. But now we need to be bolder. Election day is our opportunity to do so. A teen who hasn't heard about the pits. W the work camp where they send teens caught trying to cross. We shouldn't resort to violence. That's not who we are. Robert's right. We need to attack. Now! John, I've got to ask you something. Are you even on our side anymore? I find a kid, a genius, and you convince him to leave us? You and John think alike on this. Disappointing. Calm down. We're not here to fight. Besides, we don't need the kid for this. I'm telling you all. Violence will do more harm than good. Funny, don't you think, kid? Funny because John and his girlfriend were the ones who drove the truck to kill Tyrak in 86. I've changed, Robert. Yes, you have. Look, we should vote and settle this right now. Who thinks the brigades need to be more aggressive? I don't. I do. I do. I refrain. I don't. I don't. I do. Free against free. Let's ask the kid. He's here after all. That's why you brought him in. To vote on your side. Incredible. Kid, what do you think? You blew it, kid. I thought you had the makings of a real brigade. Guys, picked it up in the scanner. The police are on their way. We all know what we need to do. Get in our cars and leave calmly. Kid, no need to worry. They'll never suspect you. Hey kid, wanna play? We can put down some money if you want. What can I do for you, kid? I did. But kids are dying all the time in the pits. Hundreds of them, and we never hear a word about that. Nothing to see here, kid.
So long. I've lost sight of red and wrong. Mm -hmm. When you left an open door, I couldn't help but explore. So I took off with no plan.
see him now! You're under arrest! holding cell near the border. They brought you in last night. They beat you. That's why. But you should start to feel better soon. I guess you don't remember me. We met at a gas station. I got arrested. You too, I think. We're in a holding cell near the border. They brought you in last night. Ah, oh, too long. I just want to get it over with. Getting transferred to the pits. Well, you know, that's where crosses end up, isn't it? Your friend's been chosen for a new treatment. We'll turn him into a good teenager yet. Transferred to the pits. Now get up! Demonstrations! It's election day, and scum like you want to make trouble! We need to go! Now time to get you in the truck! here, live at the border on Election Day. Where events have quickly turned into a heated protest. Fires are spreading as rioters in high numbers have gathered at the wall. The tension is rising. Got a new hat, Jared? How do they expect me to do a transfer in this? Look at this, man. This is crazy. It's happening. The BBs will save us. I know it. What are they doing? They know we're in here, right? Stop that! Get your hands off! Stop! What was that? A 
A prison van has just been flipped over. Go, go, get him out! Everybody, to the wall! Where the hell is Robert? Big John, did you see Alex? You saw Alex? Where is he? At the wall. Kid, come with me. I gotta find someone. This way, young blood! There's an opening up here! Alex! What are you doing? John! It's not what you think! Robert got someone to make the bomb using my blueprints! I'm trying to disarm it! Robert must have changed the code. Dude is a straight up a hole. He probably used a code you wouldn't know. Nineteen nineteen, the brigade radio frequency, and nineteen eighty six. They seem the most logical. I have an idea. Young blood, try six six eight two. You sure? Hurry! It worked! But how'd you know? That was the code of the first bomb. Your birthday. First bomb? My... my birthday? Your mom and dad, Alex. Naomi and Steven. They built it and used the most important day of their lives as the code. We were gonna use it. But there was a problem at the last moment. That's when Connie and I tried to take Tyrak out in the truck. We'd worked too hard to come up empty-handed. But we missed. And Tyrak detonated the explosives on the peak. And my parents were killed. Yes. And Connie. And so many others that day. Why didn't you tell me this sooner, John? I thought it'd radicalize you push you to build the bomb and I didn't want you to hate me hate you if I had killed Tyrak your parents would still be alive they made their choices mr. you they put themselves in that position that's not on you thanks for saying that kid now come on let's uh, don't move hands up and turn around slowly it's you! The transmitter guy! Hands up, I said! Mom! Don't shoot! Alex? Your mom's a cop? Get out of here, Alex! That voice! Wait... Papa Bear? No! You... know each other? Yeah! Turns out I've been chatting on the CB with the very person I was after. Well, it's not great for me either. The woman I love being a cop and everything. <laughs> love. Yeah. Love. Ha! Don't make me laugh. Listen, I'm sorry I stood you up. I chickened out. You think I care about that now? My mom and Mr. Ursus were gonna go on a date? My mind is gonna explode. Alex, I told you, get out of here! Listen to your mom. So... How do you know each other again? I did some work for the brigades, for info on my bio parents. John knew them. Yeah, right. It's the truth. My girlfriend and I were friends with Alex's parents. Your girlfriend? She died in 86. I've been trying to protect Alex. You gotta believe me. It's true, Mom. John wasn't using me. He was trying to protect me. Look, I screwed up. I became a part of something that turned bad. Not a day goes by that I don't regret it. But I'm a different person now. I want to be with you. I'm a cop, and you're a wanted criminal. Forgive me, but I don't see how that could work. Mom, look around. Things are happening. Change is happening. Give John another chance. He screwed up, but we all make mistakes. You, for instance. Me? Yeah, I mean, 
Come on, Mom! You know what Tyrek is doing to teens! I... I do... Yes. You really want to keep working for a government that does that? No! I haven't wanted to do my job for a long time now. But I did it. For you. Well, you no longer have to, Mom! Now please, lower your gun! We can cross together. There's nothing keeping us here. We can leave. Mom, what do you think? Kid, you can come if you want. Supporters on the other side of the wall have broken through and are now fighting the border forces with the brigade. Could this be it? Is the revolution really happening? <laughs> Might be a good time to go, sir. The uprising that started that day 
spread to most of Petria, ensuring a fair, democratic election. Floris won by a landslide and promised to repeal much of what Tyrak had done. Tyrak was arrested and tried for his crimes. The iron pits were closed and the wall came down as well. Though it's far too early to tell what the future of my country holds, for the first time in many years, there is hope. And that, at the very least, is a good place to start.